What's going on everybody? It's your boy Paradox Agony. I just uh, went to the Best Buy finally after like, not gonna lie, kind of procrastinating for weeks. I'm still in the Uber, so I figured I might as well make the video. It's gonna take like maybe 10 or 20 minutes to get back. But I just got the GeForce RTX 2060. Uh, shout out to Notorious B. Uh, Natty B helped me figure out which part I should put on my computer. And um, this is actually a 12 gig. I didn't, I wasn't intending on buying the 12 gig, but I assume that they only had the 12 gig. The one I was looking at was maybe six or uh, three gigs. And this turned out to be like maybe a hundred, maybe almost $200 more than the other one. And I didn't know why the price came up to that much. Also, I got a few other items, so it might not even be that much, but um. This is the part that I need to just go ahead and hop fully into streaming from PC because the PlayStation 5 is just bugging out right now. It's not a good device for streaming. So if anybody's looking forward to streaming, do not buy the PS5 to do such a thing. After I purchased the PS5, which right now it costs like $900, um, I ended up having to spend like a good at least 300 400 maybe even 500 more dollars to be able to stream properly from the playstation 5 and it is still just not capable so either switch to pc gaming or go to xbox if you guys are actually trying to make uh content or stream from uh any console because you guys want to save money uh just just go to the xbox pc is a, obviously the best choice so um, I didn't even look at the specs of this thing as far as when it comes to what it's going to do better than the other graphics card. I just looked at the uh, overall performance and like I said, Notorious helped me. So I really didn't uh, dive as deep into it as I did, uh, as I had to, but um, I trust him 100% and I looked into specific details that I would have to actually, you know, look into when it comes to this and know that I'm not getting ripped off. So... Uh, it says cooling starts at the base. The heat pipe layout increases the dissipate the dissipation efficiency by direct contact design. Um, and the six millimeter copper heat pipes at the bottom also maximize the heat transfer. So pretty much, it's not going to work as hard as um, other graphics cards when it comes down to cooling. Um, it does that pretty easily, and it also will not get as hot as any other ones. Uh, this says strong backbone here, a sturdy backplate helps to strengthen the graphics card and complements the design to look even better. Um, it's not that's not really doing too much to be honest. And then it comes to the fan, the Torx Fan 2.0. Using two of award-winning Torx Fan 2.0, the graphics card provides years of top-notch cooling performance. So once again, as we can see, this is really working based off of cooling, which is pretty good. Um, minimum system requirements. I have all of these requirements. I have Windows, I think 11. I have a strong power supply. The system memory is higher than 8 gigs. I'm pretty sure uh, my system memory is 16. Uh, here's the key features right here. The G4 experience, the Ansel, the highlights. G-Sync, really good. Game ready drivers, of course. Direct X. So just looking at the box, it looks pretty. Here, let's actually go to, oh, I can't even show you guys because I can't take it out the box right now. I'll post a picture or two on the community board after this is done, but I'm just letting y'all know I finally fucking secured it. So thank y'all for watching. Drop down any comments that y'all need to drop for your boy. And, um, let me know a few things. Let me know what I'm what I'm I'm diving into here. See you later.